So one more thing, uh, bone health in postmenopausal women, specifically in post, because that is like, it's such an, an issue that postmenopausal women get, you know, they, they get osteoporosis and, and the bones get weak. And I believe you looked at this. So could you talk briefly about what you saw with um, vitamin E and osteoporosis? We, um, as, uh, as in uh, other chronic condition, uh, we studied this in postmenopausal women because after about 55 years, the estrogen drop and, and then uh, uh, osteopenia sets on and then osteoporosis kicks in probably another 15, 20 years later uh, like that. And uh, I, first there were about a hundred, more than 200 study on animal. So if the audience Google toco, trieno and bone health, you're gonna read so much of this. So I don't even need to send you anything. So I decided to do the one and only clinical trials on this. So we recruited postmenopausal women that have osteopenia. They have confirmed they're not osteoporotic, but osteopenic, but they're postmenopausal. And there are many mechanisms. My me my thought on this is very simplistic. And people don't talk about this often. If you talk about estrogen, the human body only makes several antioxidants. We don't make vitamin C. Other mammals do but we make glutathione, that's an antioxidant. We make CoQ10, that's a lipid antioxidant. We know about this. Uh, uh, superoxide dismutase, uh, 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 glutathione peroxidase, our body makes this. But the one that antioxidant we don't ever mention about, I think it's a disservice uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to humanity and also to science, particularly to women. Do you know the molecule estrogen that is in women that drop precipitously in postmenopause. Uh, the audience should Google the, the structure of estrogen. Estrogen is a chemical antioxidant. It has a phenol ring and an OH group. It is an antioxidant, but people don't usually talk about that. You should talk about estrogen as a hormone. Yes, it is a very powerful hormone for that. So I thought during the menopausal time, the estrogen dropped, so her oxidative stress would increase for no other reason than her estrogen drop because estrogen is an antioxidant. That molecule she makes is an antioxidant. So I just thought, wow, this is a simple construct that she need oxidative protection. So when we did the study, we measured the osteoblast. The osteoblast is a cell that grows the bone cell. Osteoclast is a cell that break down the bone cell. So in osteopenia, this one here in a, a drop by this by this much, and the osteoclast increase by this much. So it's a ratio of one to the other. When we give them toco trieno, the osteoblast increase a a little increase a lot, and the osteoclast drop a little. So the ratio of this to this is in favor for her to retain her bone for longer. So normally the bone cell is equi because mm -hmm. every two years our bone replenishes itself, but in menopause it went like this. So the mm -hmm. osteoclast increase and osteoblast decrease. Basically when you take toco trino, it became like this. It's not perfectly like this, but it's like this. It's better like this than like this. That is the finding of our study in a three month study, the measurement. But I asked the investigator, can you please measure the oxidative stress? The oxidative stress is improved by about 200%. I was really, so, so I asked her that when you write your paper, can you address the fact that when you add toco trieno, it improved, the, it decreased the oxidative stress by 200%. That paper was also published two years ago. I was thrilled about, about that study. After that, she decided to move on to study obesity. The study is ongoing and the pandemic before didn't help us to recruitment, but it's ongoing. But, but also obesity is a serious stress to the human body because of the sheer mass of the weight mostly carried uh, by the fat. So that is that piece. <clears throat> so I hope I address some of this to the audience. On, uh, 
uh, the protocol piece, I would say if a person is normally thought as healthy, then one to 200 milligram tocotrienol would be fine to just protect your cell wall for oxidative damage. If you have a family history of chronic condition, but otherwise you don't have, or your mild chronic condition, like the sugar is high but not high enough, based on a metabolic study, they are most like mostly like 300 to 400, uh, yeah, two to 300 milligram. Of course, it's also based on a person's weight. And if you have clear chronic condition like the fatty liver disease that we study, they are usually given four to 600 milligram in a clinical trial. Only our cancer study patient, they take 900 milligram. And all of this, whether they're a chronic, no chronic condition, they take it with a meal. So other than saying that, my passing remark would be that alpha tocopherol, the most common vitamin E that I mentioned at the beginning, we saw a caveat in the study about 30 years ago. If you have a lot of alpha tocopherol with the tocotrienol, the concept is a little complicated. The alpha tocopherol, which is a vitamin E, it interferes with the function of the tocotrienol. So I put it in shorthand, the tocopherol put breaks on the function of tocotrienol. So I would recommend personally to the audience, if you are taking tocopherol, stop taking tocopherol. It bear no, if you were to email me or answer your question directly, the time here won't permit, why tocopherol is a problem. I wrote about this many times, I can send papers on it, but tocotrienol bear to mitigate chronic conditions. So. I've given you the best piece that you have. If you have uh, a chance, you can download my book. This is written. Uh, uh, it is actually a, a project of love. I did not write this book to have people pay. You can buy on the internet. You can simply just download this book and then you can read more uh, about my study in this. I know time here doesn't permit any more. I also found another compound when I was extracting it from this lovely plant that I show you before, like that here, that compound, I'll say the chemical name, and then perhaps at another time, you can interview me on this. The compound name is called Gyronyl Gyronol. It's a mouthful of a word. I acronize it to GG. If you come to my website, American River Nutrition, or you just simply type my name, it will take you to the website. You can download all the papers on GG that we have. GG is a compound our body make. The moment you hear that our body make this compound, then your next question is, why do our body make this compound? If you download the paper, I described this on, on the paper, an outstanding one, I just leave this, and maybe you can give me another interview another time. <clears throat> GG is used by our body to make vitamin K2, which is good for the bone health. GG is also used in our body to make a more famous uh, supplement called CoQ10, ubiquinone. Mm -hmm. So ubiquinone, you use GG to make for itself. So, but, uh, but between the two, we have done a lot more study with Toco Tri, you know, I hope that this is a blessing to your audience. If you want to go look, just make sure that the toco trieno is found in anato because anato is the only source that I know that is free of tocopherol and therefore without the possible interference. So very briefly, if you're looking for a supplement, oh, it's, so it will say vitamin E, but then it should say in brackets like toco trieno, right? Or, or alpha yes. toco tocopherol. tocopherol. Right. Yes, you you will look for uh, tocotrienol, preferably also with the phrase tocopherol free. If you mm. buy from the internet, I don't know where the audience are listening in. Mm. Uh, companies that use our product would be, I just name a few, these are not all of them. Uh, designs for Health, Designs for Health, uh, Wellness Extract, AC Grace, Allergy Research Group. So these are some companies that sell this. 
if you cannot capture all this, if you go to our website, we list all the 20 or something company that sell our product. We don't make finished product, Richard. We mm. just extract them. And, and so other people put it into the, uh, into their bottle and then they have names. You, you will see if you type Anato Toko Traino on Google, you probably see all the people they sell this and just make sure, uh, that is Toka for free. If you want to know if it is from our company made in Massachusetts, we trade name this Delta Gold because of Delta Toco Traino, or it will carry uh, uh, my company name American River Nutrition, then you can track. Alternatively, if you find a company to sell, you weren't sure if it is from American River, just send us an email, we'll tell you if it is or not. That is based on all these 20 uh, over different clinical trials. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And so, uh, and to follow what you're doing, they can go to uh, like um, American River, but they you also have your own website, um, barrytan.org. Is that right? Yeah, the barrytan.org. I, I I actually don't know if that's a website, but we definitely uh, uh, have a uh, 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 face a book and, and, and other time and other social media, but American River Nutrition probably have most of the technical content uh, on the Toco Trienol and also on GG. So if you follow me in one of the social media, uh, when I find a clinical study, we publish one, we post it on so people can easily uh, access it. So the most recent one is on the fatty liver. Probably the future one coming would be on some of our cancer trials like that. Okay, excellent. So uh, Dr. Tan, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Hopefully we all will be in good health and stay good. Until next, uh, be blessed and be well. Thank you. Okay, thank you.